Hi, you're watching Geeks Assembled. Hello there. Yes, we are Geeks Assembled. And me and Susan, we've gathered here once again to talk about one of our favourite shows, which is Once Upon a Time. And now this time, we are covering episodes 7, 8 and 9. Yes, we're going to cover those right now. So uh, we might as well jump in straight into episode 7 which is called heartless isn't it susan yeah that's where that's where the uh the evil queen figures out a way of cursing uh snow white and prince charming into uh into a sleeping curse where one of them is awake because they share the same heart because one of them is awake and the other one is asleep throughout the whole episode yeah and it's like it's like uh it's like a cha trading spaces thing it's like they've they've got uh they've got uh you know to take care of the baby they've got to they've got to do their jobs they've got to live their lives and they've got to then they, then they kiss each other and the minute they kiss each other the other one's awake and the other one's asleep and there's no crossover time and anyway, it's it's sort of a fun episode. And I'll, yeah, I said so carry on. I give I give it I give that one like a, an eight out of ten. It's cool. Yeah, I think the it's interesting. Um, like we've had sleeping curses many times in the show before. Obviously, Snow White was put under a sleeping curse, and then Prince Charming had to wake her up you know when when the series first began that was actually the very first scene of the series i think in yeah. in episode one where he had to kiss her so we've had sleeping curses before but this was this was a twist on that it's like one stays awake and then the the other one has to be asleep so they break each other's sleeping curse but each time they do that it puts the other one back to sleep so like susan says it's like they have to manage life with, you know, not not being together. They're not together, are they? Because one one's asleep and while the other one's awake, and vice versa. Which uh, and they have to leave little notes and stuff like that. But as for this episode, this episode was um, heartless. Was it was all based around Snow White and Prince Charming, wasn't it? You know, you had um, yeah. even even the flashback scenes were based around Snow White and Prince Charming. And they had met each other beforehand, you know, because he didn't know that that was her. And this was the one with, um, you know, because it was that, um, was he the, what was he again, the Huntsman or something? Not the Huntsman, yeah. he was, the yeah. Yeah, he was the Huntsman, yeah. And um, he, he, he trapped her. And, you know, and that, and it's the one with the uh, the the sprout as well, the sprout of um, the tree, the love tree, as well. Yep. Uh, this episode, I, I, it's it's not the. I think it's the weakest one so far. I think it's the weakest one so far, simply because we know everything about Snow White and Prince Charming. It it didn't really give us anything new I, I much prefer when it's focusing on Virginia or when it's focusing on um, Emma you know I, I find they're the more stronger characters or Zelina <coughs> you know or, or even gold but I find Snow White and Prince Charming uh, are my least probably uh, well I wouldn't say my least favorite because I, I do like them but I don't think we need to explore too much of their backstory simply because we already know it. Right. So I'm going to give I'm going to give that episode a seven point five. All right. So on to the the next episode, which is called. Let me see. The changelings. No, sorry. No, it was. I'll be your mirror. I'll be your mirror. Love this one. Yeah, love this one. What did you think, Susan? I love this one. Well, it was cool how Sydney had set up a like a, a, a universe for his mirror world. That was pretty yeah. cool. And you've also got um, the dragon, and that dragon effect. The, the dragon effect was awesome. 
that that was a really really good model of a dragon yep. that was really that was really some awesome effect and i thought mm -hmm. i thought the whole episode was great and th this one is getting a, a, a gold plated 10 this is i think this is the best episode in a long time i think this is the best i think this is one of the best of of the show full stop for me yeah because it focused on my favorite characters you know like i just said it focused on Regina, emma and the evil queen and they were just and they were brilliant and when um because the evil queen had them trapped in the mirror world and i was thinking at one point you know because henry looks into the mirror doesn't he you know he when he's yeah. um is he going on that date and um you think does henry not know that that's the evil queen you know and yeah. Is 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 good mum? Is good mum is behind the mirror? You know, is two good good mums are behind the mirror. Oh. But that when she uh, when the evil queen said, um, "You've got a," uh, it's like you've got to destroy the heart, wasn't it? She gave him that mallet, that hammer. It was a hammer, wasn't it? Yeah. To to destroy the heart, and I thought, is he going to do it? You know, is he going to do it? But what I didn't know, I didn't realize actually. He could just smash the mirror, yeah. ca causing them to come out, sort of thing. No, so I thought, excellent episode, brilliant. What did you think? Yeah, I love, I love that uh, the that the trap uh, didn't succeed, and I love that 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 he was able to sort out who was his uh, who was speaking. Um, being that the evil queen was like. Um, she was she was not uh able to fool him because she was um you know she had her uh because she because she had 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 used these lines on him before where where she was evil where the whole person was evil yes yeah, I, I I think that that that's why she wasn't able to fool him, you know, the stand up straight, uh, you know, prince and stuff like that. She he doesn't want to be a prince; he just wants to be a boy, and he wants to be in love and stuff. And and so Henry was Henry was probably brilliant in this one. Yeah, because Henry's been underused. Yep. Yeah, Henry's been underused, and this was the most he's been used. In quite a long time. Yeah. Quite a long time. So I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Yep. And then the last one is The Changelings, which yep. uh, features um, Rumpel's mum. Yeah. Black Fairy. Yep. That's why I'm dressed like this, because I... Yeah. Because of Rumpel... Yeah, so anyway, Rumble Rumble backstory is finally complete. We've got father, Peter Pan, mother, the Black Fairy, Rumple, um crying uh to his mom and and his mom, you know, gone and stuff and, and it was just it was pretty intense. It was really good. I really love Paper Rumpel. <laughs> I have to admit, I, I never thought, I, I, I never once thought, oh, I wonder who Rumpel's mum is. I, 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 I've never once thought, and I, I didn't think, because I, I, I don't go near spoilers. I don't try and look at spoilers. Right, right. So I, I didn't know that his mum was, going to appear in this episode so when it turned out to be his mum i was like oh god it's his mum you know yeah which is really awesome yep it was it was pretty wonderful so uh and obviously she's going to come back yeah because she just flew off didn't she she just like because bell saved the baby and uh yeah she just flew off yep and of course, you've got. Um, oh, do you know what? I like the. I like the bit where it was the evil queen who speeded up. 
Bell's pregnancy. Yeah. It, that was really clever because I thought, oh, it, you know, it was Rumpel, but no, it was the evil queen who did it. Yeah. Yeah, I really love that because it just shows that the evil queen just meddles with everybody. Yep. You know. And, and, and then Rumpel was like, oh, oh, I used to love you, evil queen, but now I'm like all about Belle again. Yeah. But Rumpel's and the evil queen's relationship is a bit, ooh, it, I don't know. I don't... Checkered? Yeah, it's it's well, uh, those relationships with everybody is is like that. There's yeah. somebody he's like you know oh perfect for that guy. I mean that that's that's maybe the the longest story arc that we're that we're seeing is this Rumpelstiltskin story arc because he's he's just he's sort of poisonous uh, to everyone. Yeah, he's written yeah. sort of poisonous to everyone. All all you Rumbell fans out there, it isn't that that Rumpel is poisonous. It's just that he's written that way. Yeah, because there's a lot of I notice there's a lot of people who don't like Rumpel, but you're not meant to like Rumpel. That's the thing. He's meant to be a villain. He's not, he's not meant to be a likable character, really, is he? And and Robert Carlyle's excellent playing. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah characters that you're not supposed to like but you end up yeah, well he's amazing in everything yeah he needs yeah. to get he needs to be the master in doctor who yep that would be i'm telling funny. you now yeah yeah Definitely. needs to be the master in doctor who yep make it happen <laughs> make it happen all you all you people listening out there all of our listeners and watchers but i'd like to say if they ever did um any of the these adaptations to films, you know, any of these um, any of these stories to films, like um, I hope I I hope that they would cast like the evil queen in this story. As she is, it, what's her name again? L Laura, what's Lana, her real name? Lana Perea. Lana Perea. Yeah, I hope that they cast her in a movie. In a film, because I she she's just the best evil queen I've ever seen. Yep. yep. She she it's like she's born to play that role. She's absolutely fantastic. And there's one thing that they do get right in this series. It, throughout this throughout this series, they've always got the casting right. I feel. I feel like if the, the the cast is absolutely brilliant and spot on. Yeah. You know, Robert Carlyle. It's perfect to play Rumpel Stiltskin. Yeah, and 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 uh, Emily De Raven is really really great at Bell, and and yeah, and uh, Jared is is awesome at 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 Henry. I mean, yeah, you're right about that. You're right. You're right about the casting, and they and. And, and they've chosen actors with with chops because I mean they're they're forced to play all these different versions of themselves, hundreds of different versions of themselves by now, right? Yeah, it, it, I'll tell you what, it must be really confusing being an actor on this show or an actress because one minute you're like in present day playing, you you know a. Uh, uh, you know, a certain version of yourself, and then you'll just get you'll just get a script or whatever that takes you back so many years, and then you have to act younger again. Do you know what I mean? You have yeah, to, yeah. You have to yeah. yeah. And it's like, um, obviously, the evil queen has to play two parts. Yeah, that's true. So. Um the changeling, I'm going to give a ten out of ten for. I, I th because yeah, of all the the bell and Rumpel moments at the end, especially. You just love Rumpel. Uh -huh. You just love Robert Carlyle. That's, yep. that's, that's, what, that's what the tens go for. That's what the tens go for. Yep. 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 I, I think I'm going to give it 
Um, do you know what I'm going to give it? A, uh, no, I'm going to give it a nine point five. I'm going to give it a nine point five. But this was also the one where um, Bell gives up the baby as well. Yep. Gives it to the uh, blue fairy. Blue. Yep. Yeah, gives it to blue. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So okay. I hope we get a backstory to, um, I'm sure we will, but I hope we get a backstory to the, the Black Fairy. Yeah. I'm sure we will. I, I'm 100% I'm sure we will. She, she might even, uh, I hate to say it, Susan, but she might even end up killing Rumpel. Maybe, I don't know, maybe she's oh. Rumpel's demise. I, I don't, I, you know, <laughs> I don't want to upset you here, Susan, but, you know. I think Rumpel is, is at some point going to die, unless the characters that don't turn good will die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean I to know, say. I don't know, Alan. I, I, can't, I can't. But you never know. He might. He might. He might turn over a new leaf. You know. You never know. A forest. Say that again. A, not a new leaf. A new forest. A new forest, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, um, let's let's meet again in a little while and, and do episodes ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. How long? How long have we got left till the series break? How many well, episodes? Have we just got one left? till the series break. Oh, just one more. Yeah. This is. Oh, we've only got one more. The, this next one is the is the the break till March. Oh, so there's only eleven, and then there's an, and then there's a break, and then we get the next eleven. Uh, no, there's only ten, and uh, and then there's the break till March. Oh, so it's a break for you now. So you've watched you've watched the last the last one of this part, yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Oh no, I'm gonna. And then it's not coming back to March, you say? Yeah. So let's. All right. So I got. I got this idea. Let's. Let's. Let's meet next we have to week. Wait March. No. Let's. Let's meet next week and talk about the 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 mid season finale. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. But I can't believe then I'll have to wait till March to watch another episode. I know. It's another show. Like I don't watch much television as it is, because over here. Television has gone so dire here in the UK. And it's like once upon a time, it's one of those shows that I look forward to every week. And now, we, oh, now after this episode, when I watch this episode, I've got to wait till March. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's do that, okay? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay. So, so without further ado, let's... let's finishes yeah so i'd like to thank susan here for joining me i'd like to thank you for watching tell us below what you think about any of these episodes we've talked about or even prior episodes or what you think of once upon a time as a whole tell us your favorite character tell us your favorite scene T tell us whatever as long as it's once upon a time related you know comment below and as ever look after yourself take care Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.